Hey everyone, Will here for Wheels on the Road, and I first of all would like to say thank you for taking the time to watch, to watching this video today, and also I appreciate your support in the near future for more videos and also photos that I'll be posting on my Facebook page of Wheels on the Road, and on my YouTube channel called Wheels on the Road, and uh, you can find me there on those two social media platforms. But thank you for taking the time. Now, I've been sitting here for the last 30 minutes or so trying to figure out what I want to talk about, what I want to say, so I'm just going to wing it, see where this goes, and go from there. So yeah. So probably as most of you know, or probably you haven't noticed, but I've been gone for about two or three years now. And the reason why I've been gone for that long is because I literally have no, had, had, I've had no interest in doing videos like this because I don't know what to talk about. And I don't want to reach out to people, I didn't want to talk, I just wanted to kind of keep myself, keep myself isolated and uh, not, not talk. But here's the reason why I've been gone for so long. Back in 2020, I was admitted to the hospital and I was diagnosed with bipolar type 2 disorder with chronic PTSD. Now mind you, before I was medicated, before I was diagnosed, a year ago from like 2019 to, to early 2020, post-COVID I guess you could say, I was highly interested in doing pen palling, photography, and doing these vlogs like I am right now. But after being on medication, being diagnosed, and making myself stable, when I got home from the hospital, I had no interest in doing any of this stuff anymore. I didn't want to do pen palling because it was a lot of work and I didn't know what to do or say. I didn't want to do photography because I didn't know where to go to take photos and I just had no interest in doing that. And doing these videos, I didn't know what to talk about. I just had no interest in doing any of this stuff. I really didn't. So. What's changed is I decided that I want to get back into doing this kind of stuff, but I also got to do it um, probably, a, I don't want to say with reason, but just do it because I want to reach out to people. That's half the reason why I want to do these videos, but also bring an awareness about mental health and also share with you not just my mental health, but also share with you my stories of my photos and share with you stories of places I've been in Maine what I've experienced, what I've done, and that's half the reason why I want to do these videos, is to kind of share with you my photography, my journey, and uh, my journey around Maine, I guess you could say, and just go from there. But I want to first of all talk about my mental health, and also just to kind of share with you um, that you're not alone in your mental health illness, and I'm not alone in my mental health illness, and uh, I am stable. I am better now, and uh, things have been a lot better for me personally. But anyways, but I was diagnosed with bipolar type 2 disorder with chronic PTSD. They put me on medications to make me sound stable, like I said, but over the years or so I've decided that I want to kind of cut back on my medications because some of the medications I don't feel that I need to have. But some of the medications I do need to have because, like, for me personally, it's hard for me to go to sleep. Because my mind never shuts up. It never does. So, some of the medications I am keeping, I'm keeping up with my management, I'm keeping up with therapy that I'm doing. I will be honest with you, <laughs> you know, I've been doing ther therapy for about maybe one or two years now, about two years now. And I've gotten to the point where I don't know what to talk about. And if, when, when I get the phone call from from the agency that I go through therapy with, I'm like, I got a therapy appointment tomorrow? There's nothing I want to talk about. There's nothing that happened. And I just feel like I'm wasting my time and wasting the therapist's time as well, talking about stuff. But the other thing, too, about that is what I found personally is that I need to be honest with my therapy. I need to be honest with my therapist as well and talk about my 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 thoughts and how I'm feeling. There are just, I will say that there's just some stuff that I talk about that I just don't feel like I need to talk about or I feel like um, that they want to hear what I want to talk about. Like, going through some personal things, I'm not going to mention it on here, but I talk about some personal issues. I think I know what, I think I know that that's what I want, but in reality, that's not what I want. It isn't what I want, and that's not where I want to go. And I have a hard time with that, and my therapist knows that. But again, 
doing therapy, I feel like I'm wasting my time and wasting her time. I don't know what to talk about, and I don't think I need therapy. Medication is something I need, yes. But therapy, I just don't feel like, um... I don't feel like I, I need it. So... But I want to do these videos because it's, it's therapeutic. That's the word I was looking for earlier. <laughs> therapeutic. Uh, I want to do these videos because they're therapeutic. They help me to reach out to other people on social media and through the wonderful world of Facebook and YouTube. And I also want to share, and I know I mentioned this before, but I also want to share with you my journey in photography and my journey on adventures in Maine that I haven't been to before. Um, I want to get shots of places I've never seen before. I want to get shots of old buildings, and I want to go through abandoned places to get photos and stuff like that. Um, I want to visit towns. I want to visit places I never visited before in Maine. I lived in Maine my whole life, and not once have I. I mean, I don't know. I lived in Maine my whole life, and I've been isolated. Isolated. But doing these videos, they're therapeutic. It's going to help me get out of my shell a little bit more, and I hope that that happens more often so yeah um, anyways but I'm back I'm glad to be back I'm going to continue doing this kind of stuff um, please follow my Facebook page on Wheels on the Road and also my YouTube channel called Wheels on the Road as well um, there'll be updates coming on. There'll be some stuff coming happening in, in spring, I think, I hope, and stuff that's going to happen during the summertime as well, and also as fall. So yeah, we'll go from there. But I'm back. I'm glad to be back. I'm going to continue to be back, and I will talk to you in the next uh, video or so in the near, near future. Maybe I'll have another coffee talk. We will. Who knows? <laughs> Take care, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.